angular motion. Do you remember? Rotational motion? Yeah. Uh, theta is equal to omega t. So, uh, so we can change theta to omega t. Uh, e is equal to mba omega sine omega t. Okay? Uh, N is the number of turns, B is the magnetic field, area is, uh, A is area, and omega. You see? Uh, this one is outside. What changes is the theta? Because it's rotating. Yeah? Uh, this, uh, all these are constant, isn't it? Uh, the magnetic field, the magnetic field is constant, the area also constant, the angular speed also constant. Uh, but what changes is theta because it is rotating. Uh, this one, the theta changes. Last time is last time is magnetic field changes, area changes. Now all of them are constant. Only the theta changes because it's rotating. Okay. Now, how to find the angle theta? Uh, like usual, theta is always between the normal. We must always look. We must always find. Draw the normal first. Normal area with the magnetic field. Like this one. Okay. This is the point, right? This is the point, and this is the magnetic field. Okay. And okay. So, where to find the angle theta? Ah, the theta is not between the coil with the magnetic field. You must first draw the normal. Draw the normal. Always draw the normal first. Yeah? Normal area. And then the theta is between the normal with the magnetic field. Ah, this is the magnetic field. This is the normal. So angle theta is between normal and magnetic field. Understand? Yes. Good. So you have two cases here. So the first case, what is angle theta? This is the point. This is the point. This is the magnetic field. So the angle theta is, is it 90 degree? No. Is it 90 degree? No. Ah. Yeah? Of course not. Yeah? Ah. The, between the coil and the magnetic field is 90, yes. But that is not theta. Theta is, you must draw the normal. Draw the normal area first. Uh, so the normal with the magnetic field, they are parallel. Understand? Yeah. They are parallel. So it is zero degree when parallel. Between the normal and the magnetic field is zero degree. Same like chapter four, when you find the torque. Same like before, the, about the magnetic flux. Or you must draw the normal first. Uh, okay? Okay, then what's the formula? If you substitute the theta with zero. So this one, NBA omega sine zero. Sine zero equal to zero. So anything multiplied by zero, we will get zero. E induced is both. Uh, zero both. So minimum or maximum? Minimum. Uh, so when the coil is at this position, the EMF is minimum. The EMF induced is minimum. It does not generate any electric at this position. Yeah? Minimum. Okay, how about this case 2? Case 2. So, this coil is uh, uh, parallel to the magnetic field. So, where is the angle theta? Uh, why? Draw the normal first. Draw the normal. Uh, draw the normal. So then, uh, this normal is 90 degree with the magnetic field. You see that? Yes. Always take the normal with the magnetic field, not the coil with the magnetic field. Huh? Normal with magnetic field is 90. Always draw the normal first. So, we will get NBA omega sine 90. Sine 90 equal to? Wow. 1. Ah, so that means this maximum or minimum? Maximum. Ah, maximum because multiply one. What is the maximum? Ah, both. So this is maximum. Yeah, this is a uh, maximum. Uh, when uh, at this position. So here it will generate a lot of induced EMF and also induced current. Okay. okay. Right.